everyone crying out for the love. Hey everybody, this is Emla Vision TV. I'm your host Daniel Quinones and I'm here with Tay and Kim and Jarrell We have talked to them several maybe not years back, a while back. And now we're catching up with them to see what they're doing right now. Uh, they just wrapped up a very interesting project and we just kind of want to dive right into it. How did it come about? What's it all about? And well, we just wrapped on a video that's called Letter to Emily. Um, it, basically, the whole thing came about um, through this organization called My Broken Palace. Uh, we were speaking at an art event at Saddleback. And I met, uh, through that event, we met this guy named James Christie who works with My Broken and basically they work with a lot of at-risk youth. So the video deals with a character named Emily that committed suicide or is dealing with that issue. This is a subject that we, uh, the staff and leaders at Direct Start, do, do have a passion for. And I personally have a passion about, um, you know, depression and, and suicide. So we're very happy to work on the project. That is awesome. I definitely think that right now, uh, especially in today's time, there's a lot of issues like that going on. So it's very good that you are tackling that. How did y'all come together and um, you know come up with the concept and idea of the video? Because I saw the video it was super awesome. Definitely check it out. Um, how did that all come about? They had a video already that they wanted to do, and they had shot footage with Josh Caterer, who's a singer on the track, and. There was issues with all their footage, and they got deleted, and they didn't have the originals, and they couldn't work with it. So we just we knew it was a good cause, and we knew the video was a great opportunity to kind of explore that medium and to get this message out to the, to, to America. And actually, it was kind of cool the way that it came about because something would happen, and a, an, an idea would come up, and then somebody else would um, have something to add to it, or um, you know, where one person's idea left off, another person. Had, had the next step to so it. Was really, it was really well done. I, I, it's very rare to have a working experience where it's that smooth and you know, all of our styles mesh and um, really cool. And one of the funny stories is we joke about how our, uh, one of our key grips was a clamp lamp. Um, so we had very limited you know, uh, um, resources for us people, but I mean, um, working with our team, it's amazing. How did it come about with all the altercations with the band and the video that this came together for them to approve it and move forward? And how did they feel about the outcome and all that? For the love of someone, if you don't feel that way about anyone, you can feel like less than no 